we've had the best success using the Amana O flute bit on the Stepcraft CNC systems with the following setup. In the edit tool section of the Vetric program, uh, you'll want to assign the diameter of the tool. In this case, we were using a 1 8 inch O flute end mill. So the diameter is 0.125 inches. The pass depth is typically half of the diameter, so it's 0 0.0625 inches, which is a sixteenth of an inch. We found that 18,000 RPM is the optimal spindle speed with a feed rate of 30 millimeters per second and a plunge rate of 10 millimeters per second. If you're serious about getting the best possible cut quality for your acrylic projects, we found that the Amana Tool Spiral O Flute 1 8 diameter end mill provides the best possible results in all the testing that we've done. It is part number 51410 and has an estimated cost of about $35 USD online and is available for many different retailers. In your toolpath settings, whether you're pocketing or profile cutting, we recommend using a conventional cut direction. Additionally, we recommend setting a ramp from one to three inches in length this will ensure that the bit enters the material at an angle rather than plunging straight down. As you can see here, we have the piece of acrylic fastened securely with a three quarter inch piece of MDF spoil board underneath it. You'll notice in this video that you'll see nice chips of plastic. There's no remelting of plastic after it's being cut. That's very, very important. You want to make sure that your settings are optimal so that you're not melting the plastic but you're getting a nice effective chip and a clean cut 